up guys and welcome back to another episode of Mon Bazoo. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like in the video, it'd be greatly appreciated. I have spent just about all morning so far trying to really learn what it means to be a true Canadian. I've also been trying to perfect my Canadian accent, eh? but unfortunately it sounds a bit more like a Canadian who's been snowbirding in Wisconsin since he was about six years old, give or take a few years. But hey, go pet go, am I right? Now obviously that is a horrible horrible accent so i'll probably never do that again well it's bound to happen at some point but if there are any canadians that are actually watching this video hopefully you guys can help me figure out some uh different terms and phrases that you use on a on a daily basis you know i know the common ones like ending sentences in a occasionally or uh talking about getting a double double from good old timmy's tim hortons you know stuff like that common stuff I understand pretty well, but uh, in the previous episode, we actually completed all of our debut tasks. So today, I did have something prepared for us to do. I was hoping we were going to make our way to the junkyard or the scrapyard. That way we could, you know, obtain a few more pieces for the E36 BMW. But unfortunately, I learned we actually have to have a friendship level increase with Jacques. Our good old buddy Jacques. Dude, actually, we're really, really close on getting a better relationship with our older brother, Francis. So we might end up doing that today, as well as our mom, dude. We gotta call, we gotta call mom. First and first, mostly, we gotta call mom here. I don't know if I need electricity to do that. I probably do, but she has her number here. Um, yes, I probably, probably need electricity to do that. So let's, let's crank on the generator. I'm trying to keep the generator turned off just so we don't actually waste any fuel. There we go. Give that a good crank quick. We can disable our flashlight. Let's let's give mom a ring. How do we do this? Um, excuse me. Oh, maybe it's too early? Could be too early. I don't know. That's very interesting. Or we have to actually use the phone. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So it is 555-2109. Let's come over here. 555-2109. Nine. No area code, I guess. It's just, it's direct. We're all sort of, hey, son, I will clean your room soon. If I find something, I will bring it to you. That's it? Wait, let's check on our friendship with, with mom. I don't know if that went up at all, but the checkbox, I believe, means that we've talked to her for the day. So next, we should probably go talk to our big bro, our faceless Big bro who is always in need of wood and funny enough just for the thumbnail for the previous episode I did have to chop quite a bit more wood so I could fill the truck up and, and get a get a screen grab of the truck being full But we're gonna hop in this thing. We're gonna take this over to our brother's place And uh, we'll talk to him for the day. See what he has to say. All right parking brake release, dude We are out of here. I want to wish everyone a very happy Friday as well Hopefully you had a fantastic week. The weekend is finally here. Of course when you guys see this it's noon so Maybe, maybe like four or five more hours until the true weekend begins. But uh, hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. Hopefully some of you have some big weekend plans. I myself have a plan to do nothing. But here we are pulling into big bros. Dude, we are drifting around this corner. Got her into neutral just so we can cruise in nice. There we go. So somebody had suggested, I believe it was Matthew actually, that suggested we should probably try to reverse just over his little cell point here and uh, we'll see if that we'll see if that ends up working gotta make sure we're in reverse one more click there we go and then we'll just back up right to here oh my god oh my that is way faster dude 180 buckaroonies like nothing go ahead and rip the parking brake and turn her off so we can go and talk to our big bro our faceless big bro but that was a very, very good idea, Matthew. Thank you so much for the suggestion, dude. That was way faster than moving them all by hand. Let's see what Big Bro has to say. Can't wait for the summer each weekend. I will go out camping for sure. Friendship plus one, I think. See what we got. We're sitting at 22. Okay, okay. So from what I understand with our Big Bro, if we get his friendship level up to 25, He'll then offer us the uh, the possibility of him building our garage just out front of our little trailer home. So I definitely want to do that, obviously, but it looks like we can only talk to people once per day or something like that. But uh, the good news, 
We have 270 bucks, dude. 270 bucks. So I guess the main game plan for the rest of today's episode anyways should probably just be to go around and try to talk to all the townsfolk. You know, we got a lot of people we still have to meet. We've only actually met with about three of them. And while we were at uh, Jacques' uh, gas station, we didn't even talk to Norman. Just acknowledged that his name was Norman and, and didn't say a word to him. So what I want to do next is actually head back home. We'll grab the uh, jerry can next to the generator back there. And then we'll take this to Cali Gas, Jacques' gas station. Fill the can on up and hopefully we can talk to Norman and, and get some info on, on his scoop D. You know, see what his deal is. Let's make sure this thing's empty, though. We're gonna unscrew the generator cap. Go ahead and use this and pull it up, pull it up. There we go. All right, she is on E, looking good. Let's go ahead and screw that cap back on. And then I am never, I mean never, throwing anything in our truck bed that uh, that we can put in the cab. You know what I mean? Like, if we have really large stuff, I'll, of course, use the bed. But for the most part, I, it's just not worth having stuff flying all over the place. It's it's really not. Oh my god! I just hit the E36. Uh, please tell me there isn't like collision damage or anything like that. Let me see that rear quarter panel. Still good? Still good, dude! Still good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I learned the map, you guys. I learned the map a little bit. It's still not perfect, but uh, roulette. I know you guys can probably see that on the map. Roulette, if we go left, and then hang a right, not go down the straight road there. I don't know what it says, but that would be, the next stop would be our brother's house. And then it's actually faster if we head that direction to go into town. So rather than go this way, I'm gonna try to put her in reverse Terry. And we are gonna make our way out this direction instead. Hopefully it'll be a little bit faster. It looks like a shorter trip on the map. So I'm just sort of assuming We'll, uh, we'll get there a little quicker. Yeah, this is way quicker. Way quicker into town. Oh, we should have drank some maple syrup before we dipped, dude. That's all right. I think, I think somewhere in town we can actually get some maple syrup potentially. Maybe even at the gas station. I'm not really sure. There's probably a few other locations that we should travel to as well. Like, I don't actually know where to obtain food from. So uh, we should probably address that. Maybe stop at that stand too while we're thinking about it, but now I'm just trying to think of all the other, uh, like, funny little terms and stuff. Ooh, there's a person. Now I'm just trying to think of all the funny little terms and stuff that I learned about this morning. Like, uh, let's see. I got a little list made up. We got loony, which is a, a $1 bill. We have a, a toonie, which is the $2 bill. And then we got stuff like homo milk, which is, is not what you think it is. It's just homogenized milk or normal milk, some might say. Oh, this is Gilles. How's everything? In the afternoon, I can't be here. So much noise. Yeah? Got a lot of, got a lot of noise happening in town or something? Okay, Gilles. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Oh, can find your lost items. Interesting. Okay, so you're the guy we want to come to if and when we ever lose, like, our, uh, our adjustable spanner or maybe even our jerry can, amongst other things, I'm sure. But yeah, homo milk is definitely one of my favorite terms that I've learned thus far. That and uh, out for a rip. And just the fact that it seems like Canadians tend to say bud a whole lot. And I really like that. So I'm definitely going to use that as well. Wait, is this the turn? I don't ever remember. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's right up here at this sign, the snack shack sign. No, it's not. It's one more street over, dude. I can't ever get this down. But here we are, pulling up to Jacques' gas station. I guess we'll pull up to the pump. We don't actually have to fill the truck up, just the just the jerry can. There we be. Let's put her into neutral. Kill the ignition. Parking brake, of course. And we are out of here. Well, temporarily. We gotta run around the side, get the gas can. There we go. Can we, like, can we yeet this thing? No, not really. There, there must be a way to actually throw things. Oh, right click. Okay. Is there like a power bar? No, it's just a single throw. Alrighty. Good to know. Good to know. So, since the last time we filled this thing up, we used the super fuel. You guys actually did inform me that uh, sans plomb is, is actually misspelled. The N should be an M as in mom, so I've been told. But it does actually mean just unleaded. 
So I was right. My my initial assumption was right, and that's that's good news, I suppose. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy on up, though. It's always important we have a full jerry can, dude. How many monies is this going to cost us? $1.66. We'll screw the cap back on this bad boy real quick, and then we should be able to just throw it back in the cab and be on our merry way. I'm so glad that that thing doesn't, like, spill if it tips over, because that would do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. All right, Norman. We got to actually make sure that we talk to you today. Good day, eh? You really talking to me about the racetrack? Hmm. Are we? Are we talking to you about the racetrack? I, I didn't realize that. And then Jacques, hello, why won't you put regular gasoline in your old vehicles? You mean unleaded? Wait, super? What's regular? What do you mean by regular? How's our friendship coming along? Jacques, we got seven. Gila is one. Normand is also one. Oh, okay. Owner of the racetrack. Norman owns the racetrack. So when we probably reach around 25, I would think probably for him as well. Then maybe we can go to the racetrack and race the E36 around there. But we got a ways to go before we get to that point. And then somebody else had told me I might want the bus steering wheel. Not for anything in particular, but it's just one of those free items that you might as well pick up while you're in town. So we're going to get this thrown in the cab of the pick -em up truck so we don't five get it. That's one more than four get, which would be absolutely disgraceful dude thankfully jacques actually does have seven dollar maple syrup oh that is expensive oh and we we just purchase it as soon as we pick it up that's great all right let's go ahead and drink one of those though good thing he at least keeps that you know in stock for us to uh for us to purchase off of him i've been kind of thinking about which wheels i want to go with as well not that we're going to be able to afford any of them anytime soon but uh in the previous episode i believe that i said i wanted these I think I'm going to change my mind to the five spokes. I saw a picture of an E36 on some five spokes the other day, and I was like, God dang, that's hot. So I feel like that's probably what we're going to go with, but my mind will probably change again. Let's hop back in the pick -em up truck, dude. Who else do we got to meet today? I need to pull up a list of all the town's folks so we can just go around and at least get one friendship level from everyone today. So let me pull that up real quick. Okay, so the list goes Francis, Jacques... Gila, Roger, Anthony, and or Antoine, Felix, Michael, Raymond, Eric, Normand, and our own mother. But those should be all the people we can at least build a friendship with as of right now. So the next person on the list would be Roger, but he's not actually available until Fridays at the church. Next up would be Felix and Antoine or Anthony. Both of them can only be found at the abandoned grocery store. Unfortunately, not at the time right now, which would then bring us to Michael, who is apparently a street racer. So we're not going to meet him until that happens. Uh, Raymond would be the next person. Again, a person we can only meet at nighttime. Eric, we might actually be able to meet. He works at the Maple Syrup federation a place we haven't traveled to just yet and i have no idea where it is we're gonna turn to our trusty friend the map here so we're in town right now at jacques so actually if we just go down the road here dude the uh Mm, on the map is actually supposed to be this maple syrup federation place so let's go ahead and oh my god every time dude i will never get used to having to do that never never ever ever but we just need to go down the street here uh, a little ways and then it should be on our right at the very end of this thing there's a pretty big building i don't think that's it though yeah it's got to be this one dude it's got to be this one the thing is just massive it really is so we're gonna hang right into here looks like this is a parking lot of sorts here we are ladies and gents parking brake ignition handle seat and we're out of the truck easy as that we got a transparent tank here oh okay so i know we can build what they're calling a sugar shack eventually which what is this place barrel of syrup here to sell so when we can actually produce maple syrup from the maple trees uh kind of around our our house over there we can then bring barrels of maple syrup back to here and we can sell them for hopefully a hefty penny 
Time will tell. But let's see what Eric has to say. Friendship plus? What's new? We only keep the best equipment in store. Hey, that's good to know, dude. That is good to know. We got some empty cans, some can lids, a can sealer, reverse osmosis, boil 50% faster. Okay. No idea what this thing is. Electric auto heater? Sure. Tubing posts, sap spouts, and the tubing roll. Okay, at least these things are pretty inexpensive. Holy cow. And then a barrel. 120 liters? That's a lot of syrup, brother. That is a lot of syrup. All right, so we have successfully met Eric. Who is the next person we need to meet? Oh, Norman is the, the next person on the list. And then our mom, which we've already met both of those people. So I think we're good as far as the friends go for today. Most everyone else on the list we're not going to be able to meet until uh, certain events happen or it's a certain time of day. Stuff like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I did want to actually stop by this shack just to see what this thing's about. So let's hop out here quick. Hey, you never know. This could be the this could be the spot where we're supposed to actually sell our, our cannabis. We work on the farm, serve yourself. Oh, we can buy potato seeds and cheese curds here. That's pretty cool, actually. And then it shows their hours up here as well. Interesting. Okie dokie then. I really would buy the potato seeds at the very least, or maybe even the cheese curds as well, but honestly, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with either one of those things yet, so kind of wouldn't make any sense to do that. And then this bus steering wheel, I'm just gonna bring this inside. Actually, no, it makes more sense to leave this out in the shed. I'm not sure what we're ever gonna need that for. Maybe there's a bus that we can drive. Maybe that's supposed to be a replacement wheel for, uh, our factory wheel in the E36, it looks like it's missing the airbag, which is probably a good thing, I'll be honest. Why is it a good thing? Weight reduction, baby, that's why. And then we'll still leave our gas can out here just next to the generator. That seems to be the only thing we really need to keep fueled up at all times. That and our truck, obviously. Dude, we haven't even ridden the ATV yet. Does this thing turn on? It's got a key. Come on, baby. It actually runs, dude. Okay, this is cool. This is real cool. How do we drive this? Oh, all right. There's first, oh my God, there's a parking brake on this too, isn't there? There is, right mouse button. There we go, okay. I was thinking that would be the clutch lever, but it turns out it's actually automatic. Dude, this is wild. Oh, it's not automatic either. There's gears. There's nothing that tells us what gear we're in. It's a little loud too. Oh my god, dude. I can't I just can't believe we have an ATV as well. Like that's that's pretty fresh. Let's try to go down in this big ditch right here. Oh, she handles it like a champ. No problemo, dude. All right, we got to we got to park this all nice though. Don't want to be damaging the buggy frame. Oh, we can't even fit through there. Never mind. We're going around. Backing up. Backing up. Oh, it's got a hitch on it too, dude. Okay, so we could actually hook the uh, the log splitter up to this, I believe. Yeah, I really like the ATV. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. But let's see what we have to do with our intermediate tasks now. I think the sugar shack is, is a little bit later down the road once we start, you know, making a, a, a good chunk of money. For sure. Complete the garage. Buy the cottage to get more land. No idea where that is. Gain access to the scrapyard. We're working on that one. We're also working on a good friendship with our brother, which will then lead us to completing the garage. Uh, install a manual transmission. Spoiler, that was one of the things I was going to look for at the junkyard if we were going to be able to go there today. But a later date. A later date. No big deal. Buy the small aluminum trailer. Okay, we've seen that outside of the furniture store whatever, and then connected your house to the grid power. I was unaware that we had grid power all the way out here, dude. I don't see, I don't see any power lines anywhere. Uh, not really sure how we're gonna be doing that. I guess we'll just stick with the generator for the time being. Maybe, I, I have no idea. Something else to look into, I suppose. Also, we haven't used the shovel either. So it'll be interesting to see what we actually use that for. Among other things, I mean, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of stuff we haven't actually looked into just yet. But um, so far today, we at least did everything that I set out to do, which was really just kind of explore a little bit more, go around and meet all the townsfolk. We've met everyone that we can. All the other people we're going to have to meet 
uh, at nighttime or, or doing races and, and stuff along those lines. But I think that's probably where we're going to wind down this episode at for today. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.